Welcome to GSI's Surgical Instrument Repair Training Program. This program is designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills to perform basic adjustment to ring handle forceps, tissue forceps, skin hooks, and small rake retractors. You will also be instructed on the use of specifically designed equipment and tools needed to perform these repairs. It is important that you understand how these instruments work and the names of the different parts of each instrument. Although these repairs are relatively simple, the techniques used are specific and the attention to detail is important. In preparation for this training, you will need to have available several ring handle forceps, tissue forceps, skin hooks, and rake retractors. A small plastic set will have these instruments. Pause and review the information in this program at any time if needed. Section 1, Adjustment Station, Components and Tool Function. In this introduction to the adjustment station, its components and tools will be identified along with an explanation of their function. The specific tool usage will be demonstrated in detail in the preceding training programs. Key lock and screw press. The lock is provided to skewer the tools in the bending station. The screw press is used to tighten the box lock of ring handle forceps. It can be used as a clamp to hold instruments for adjustment or examination. Backlight. This LED light operated by an off-on switch located on the side of the unit is used to backlight surgical instruments for inspection. The magnifier is mounted on a flexible arm and is used to inspect surgical instruments for flaws and to assist in proper alignments. Chain nose pliers. These pliers have jaws with a flat inner surface and rounded exterior. They are used to firmly grasp and bend specific parts of misaligned surgical instruments. Round nose pliers. These pliers have two cone-shaped jaws that are used to restore the curved tips on skin hooks and small rake retractors. Box lock spreading pliers. These pliers are adjustable and have two specially designed jaw teeth that are used to spread the stiff box lock after instrument milk lubrication does not eliminate the stiffness. Screwdriver spreading tool. This screwdriver is used to tighten large and small screws that are found to be loose. It has a reversible shank and three sizes of flat heads to fit most screws. It also has a sharp pointed tip that is identified with a colored band. It is used to spread the tip on ring and tissue forceps. Point file. This file has a slot running its length and is used as the first step to sharpen or restore the shape to the points of skin hooks, rake retractors, towel clips, and other sharp pointed instruments. Three stage buffing deburring stick. This tool has three buffing surfaces and is used to restore the finish on stainless instruments. It has three grits. Pink is coarse, white is medium, fine is gray. The three stages of polishing are used to restore the finish to the points of instruments after reshaping with the point file. It can also be used to remove scratches that may affect instrument function. Instrument milk. This lubricant is applied directly to the joints of surgical instruments to loosen sticking or stiff joints. When it's worked into the joint, it acts to dissolve any embedded material that can cause instruments to bind or stick during operation. Triangle file and diamond file. These files are used to remove metal from surgical instruments. The triangle file is used to restore the teeth on tissue forceps and the teeth on the jaws of ring forceps. The triangle file and diamond file will be used to remove burrs. The diamond file is used for heavier metal removal. Note that the triangle file only removes metal when it is pushed in one direction. Tissue forceps tip spacing gauge. These two gauges are used to quickly check the spacing between the teeth of tissue forceps with an instrument fully open. Note the position of the five inch mark on the top of the bending block. Tissue forceps that are five inches and shorter are to be measured on the left gauge. Tissue forceps longer than 5 inches are to be measured on the right gauge. Bending block. The bending block is used to hold the surgical instruments firmly while opposing pressure is applied to the instrument so that it may be bent to its correct position. It has several slots that are different sizes to accommodate different bending needs. Power input. 
The power supplied to the backlight is located on the side of the upper case. The hospital grade power cord plug connects to the fuse off-on switch receptacle.